Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video doing the ECMWF 30 days slash 6 weeks weekend for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. Uh, for today's third video, as well on a Tuesday, we do our extended uh, European Outlook with the EC extended model. So I should get on that for you uh, very shortly. Just say that first video, they say, was our 7am uh, uh, upload. Uh, and uh, we've also got a 10 to 14 day that will include all our regular feature that uh, all of regular features that will be coming up for you later on this afternoon. Please like, share, subscribe on all of the videos. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, but yeah, now, nah. right, let's have a look then. So I'm going to start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly. This takes us through the week that we're currently in, the 8th to the 15th of November. Uh, so we see we've got a big area of high pressure sitting across West Europe, actually centred over the UK and Ireland, but it does extend into uh, other western parts of Europe as well. So plenty of high pressure in the west. We have got this trough of low pressure in the far northeast of Europe, into the northwest of Russia. That's going to be bringing cold air in through there. And then some lower pressure through the Mediterranean uh, as well, especially southern parts of the there and into northern Africa. This reach does extend over towards the eastern side of Europe as well to some degree. So high pressure in the ascendancy in many areas. The 500 millibar height anomaly from the North Pole and Arctic view down looks like that. Again, we see this big ridge extending in from the west right way over to the east and the southeast Europe. We have got this trough low pressure that's going to be pulling in winter into the far north and northeast, but most areas under that ridge of high pressure will keep mainly dry weather going, really. And then low pressure down through North Africa into uh, parts of the Mediterranean. So temperature-wise, we look like this. It does vary from area to area. Uh, it's mild of an average in the week here for Ireland, the UK, just in towards low countries, Denmark and northern Germany. Also southern uh, Norway as well. Go further north, though, it gets colder into uh, northern Scandinavia. And those colder conditions do extend down the eastern side of Europe as well. Actually, it looks pretty cool through, like... Um, France and down to, uh, down to Spain and Portugal as well. Over towards Greece, it's a little bit colder than average. So these central areas and out to the west and southwest look at rather cool. And then it gets milder again through the central bowl of the Med. So really from Corsica and Sardinia uh, towards Italy and then to the Adriatic shores of the Balkans. Uh, above average temperatures there. So a lot of variation from area to area. But I think probably more areas are colder than average than a mild average, and particularly like from France, Spain, and Portugal, all the way over to Western Russia and, and the Black Sea. There's a swathe that looks pretty cold under that area of high pressure. Uh, precipitation again varies from area to area, but uh, most areas actually look quite dry. In the central part of the Med, it's very wet. In the weekend, there's going to be some big thunderstorms there, uh, triggered by low pressure, of course, from like um, the Balearic Islands all the way over towards Italy. Lots of heavy showers and thunderstorms coming through there. But go further north and west, loads of dry weather down this western side of Europe. Pretty dry over towards the east of Europe as well, as that ridge extends eastwards. Uh, eastern parts of the bed also looking relatively dry, so a lot of dry weather to come in that uh, weekend up to Scandinavia. It's wet for Norway, rain and or snow, of course, and then over in towards Scandinavia, Finland, um, or I should say Sweden, and then over towards Finland. Um, just look a little bit drier through there uh, as well. These northeastern countries like Latvia or Estonia might be a little bit on the wetter side, but uh, not excessively so. A lot of variation in the weekend. Right, week two will be 15th, 22nd of November. The high pressure is on the move. High pressure starts to move out to west of UK and Ireland, allowing this trough of low pressure to dig into the north and the east of Europe. That's going to be bringing cold air into northern and eastern parts of Europe. West Europe will be on the periphery of that. It just depends how far west and uh, northwest we take that area of high pressure as to how far west we can bat the, the northerly. But th with this, it's particularly like the northern and eastern parts of Europe will be cold, I think, as that trough of low pressure digs down the eastern side. But west side of Europe will be protected to some degree from those northerlies uh, by the area of high pressure. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that again we see the cold air digging in across northern and central eastern parts of europe dipping the jet stream coming through there of course the ridge out to the west is allowing that trough to dig in but does keep the west of europe protected to some degree from those uh, northerly influences 
Temperature anomalies then are getting colder across many parts of uh, Europe, even into sort of eastern England. It looks cold now. It's France going cold now as well. So we do back that cold air uh, into the west of Europe, actually, and down in Spain as well. But the core of the cold is actually for these eastern parts of Europe. So uh, central and eastern Europe gets the core of the cold weather. Probably going to expect to be a little bit cold than that over Scandinavia, actually. But many areas are going colder than average, as you can see quite clearly from north to south. Uh, even into the Mediterranean, we've got large areas that look below average with the temperature. So this is a cold week that we have here from the 15th to 22nd of November. Precipitation-wise, uh, we're looking like this, uh, wet in the east and the southeast. And, of course, it's getting colder, so that will be snow, particularly into the Balkans, towards the Black Sea, um, to the Russian border. Probably quite a lot of snow coming through there uh, as those temperatures are plummeting. Also, looks rather unsettled across non parts of Europe, mix of rain and or snow, and probably an increasing risk of snow the further north uh, you go. And then for Western Europe, close to that area of high pressure, that's where but it's a little bit drier. So for Ireland, for England, Wales in particular, for France, Spain and Portugal, looking drier than average through those areas, protected to some degree by the area of high pressure. In the Med, bit of an east-west split, western parts of the Med looking a little bit drier, eastern parts of the Med looking a little bit wetter. Right, let's carry on then. Week 3, interest update. This week 3, 22nd to 29th of November, the high pressure going further west, out into the middle of the Atlantic, the Atlantic Ridge, and standing up towards southern Greenland. Again, low pressure through here. It's not particularly clear how far west we're backing that low pressure, but I would have thought, even into Western Europe, we are likely to be pulling in some northerly winds. That area of high pressure sat in the middle of the North Atlantic, the 500 millibar. High anomaly again, looks like that high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic, low pressure to the east. Wings, you know, should be coming in from the north across many parts of uh, Europe there. Temperature anomaly for week 3, 22nd, 29th of November, is cold and average in many areas. So yes, there we see it, right away from the west over to the east of Europe, cold and average. Average. This is a big shift in the ECM uh, today. I have to say, this is a big shift towards cold through the second half of November. Um, I mean, for the UK and Ireland, we're close to the Atlantic, so we are moderated to some degree, only sort of average to slightly below. Core of a cold looks like it's from like the Russian border down towards uh, Spain. Um, but, you know, you just look at that and you see many areas of Europe are looking pretty cold there. In, uh, in that week free period. Um, precipitation wise, it's a weakening signal as ever. The uh, further out we go, the weaker signals get. Still looks like it's probably driest in the west and most unsettled in the east, but there will be regional variation with that. And of course, as the temperature is lowering, and becoming ever colder, we have to consider that much of this precipitation is going to be snow by this point. Uh, so, yeah, an increasing risk of snow across northern, central and eastern parts of Europe in particular, but probably in the west too, uh, as we go later on into the month. Right, go to week 4, 29th of November to 6th of December. Signals are getting ever weaker. The ridge is still there in the North Atlantic to some degree, but may be starting to allow something a little bit more westerly to come in to the west of Europe. Possibly, I will put in a question mark though, because it's not that clear. And then there's a bit of a ridge over towards the east, southeast Europe. Otherwise, you know, it's not much to work with there by the time you get through to week 4. The 500 millibar high time is still looks quite interesting though. Uh, mid Atlantic. Atlantic Ridge looks like it's standing up towards Greenland there, so you would probably think there's going to be low pressure through here and the jet stream going south. So that could keep the cold weather going actually, even into December. Weakening signals with the temperature anomaly as well. So, uh, I mean, it's clearly warmer than average in the Atlantic, that's where the ridge is sitting. Uh, of course, still seem to be a bit cold across southern parts of Europe, maybe across northern Europe too. There's not enough there, to be honest, to be able to give a forecast for the temperatures. And precipitation, again, very weak signals. Still it's a little bit on the drier side in the northwest, but also perhaps down in the southeast. Otherwise, again, really, really weak signals. Right, so that's your 30-day look ahead. Let's just extend out to weeks five and six, because... You know, why not? The data's there, so let's have a look. This is week five. It will be the 6th through to the 13th of December. Looking like that. So hints of high pressure still in the North Atlantic towards Greenland. 
high pressure over here as well. Otherwise, again, put in the question mark because it's not clear uh, what's happening across most parts of Europe. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So still, again, with that ridge in the Atlantic, it's extending northwards to some degree. High pressure is over here as well. Got to be some low pressure somewhere. If you've got high pressure, you will have low pressure. It's the way that the atmosphere balances itself out. So probably low pressure from here. Um, could be a little bit unsettled, but uh, maybe going a little bit more westerly across western parts of Europe, perhaps. The uh, temperature anomaly, still no particularly clear signal. Uh, it's warm and average in the Atlantic. It's warm and average over on the far eastern, southeastern side of Europe. Otherwise, what's going on for temperatures there? I suspect many areas will probably still be quite cold in reality, but it might be starting to get a little bit milder in the west of Europe if we get those winds into the west. So no particularly clear signal for precipitation, maybe just hints of being a little bit on the drier side, perhaps. And then lastly, week six will be the 13th to the 20th of December. It looks like this. Um, so again, such weak signals really, but again, high pressure looks like it's more towards the eastern side of Europe, somewhere from around Poland to the Black Sea. There's some lower pressure through here that might hint at a negative NEO type thing getting going. Again, otherwise, I should put in most question marks, the signal is very, very weak. The, uh, 500 millibar. High time looking like that. So it just looks rather anti-cyclonic, doesn't it? Rather anti-cyclonic with a lot of high pressure. It would be quite a cold ridge, I would have thought, uh, sitting across many parts of Europe. The temperature anomaly. Beginning to get a little bit milder as we're going further on into December. Starting to get a little bit milder in the west, but also maybe for the southern parts of Europe. Again, it's a weak signal, though, and, you know, six weeks away. So, um, you know, just have to wait and see. And the... Uh, Precipitation anomaly, again, very, very weak signals, but possibly hints of being a little bit drier uh, across many parts of Europe under that area of high pressure. I think December is still a little bit of a mystery, to be honest, but definitely like for the rest of November anyway, quite a big shift to take place here, quite a dramatic shift within the ECM extended to something a lot colder for many parts of Europe. So Dublin's over the second half of November could well see an early taste of winter and winter really blight biting. It may not last, you know, into December it might fade out, but certainly it looks like I've got a couple of weeks there of uh, really quite cold and uh, increasingly wintry weather through many parts of Europe through the second half of uh, November. So we'll see how that works out. Right, that's it for this week's EC Extended for uh, the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. We shall I do it all over again next Tuesday. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what model is showing. Could look completely different next week. So uh, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings attached. Um, but there we go. That's what it shows today. Quite a dramatic update. So we'll be back later on with your... There will also be an EC Extended on Friday. That will focus on the UK and I. And I believe that one will get us actually to Christmas. Christmas week. Um, so how exciting will that be uh, on Friday? Right, so that's it for that. We'll be back later on with the 10 to 14 day. That's going to include all our break features as well. So come back for that then. Uh, but for this week's uh, ECMWF Extended European Outlook, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.